Welcome into the Sun Devil Source Two Minute Drill alongside publisher Chris Cartman. I'm Rob Warner, and Chris, we just attended ASU's Tuesday morning practice as the team continues to face uh, number 15 Cal this upcoming week. DJ Davidson, after practice, talked about players needing to just focus on their job and consistently getting it done. Well, that's a key thing, Robbie. What we saw in that Colorado loss was guys getting frustrated by some cut blocks, uh, reading that the play was going to go one way as opposed to another way, and adjusting instead of just plugging their gap canceling their gap out doing their 111th as a lot of these players like to say mm -hmm. if they just uh, d redouble their efforts and focus on what their individual assignment is within their play they're going to be fine and chris there's no clear fastest guy on this asu team but there are a few candidates evan fields brandon Ayuk among them and, and asu actually has some own data that they use to track that what more can yeah. you tell me about that so there's a catapult system that these players were in practice it measures all kind of biometrics and then uh or, uh their speed uh uh, like their heart rate and all these things, top mile per hour. And I asked Joe Connolly who the fastest players were on the team in offseason training. And he said actually Brandon Ayuk, which is not that surprising on offense, but actually Evan Fields might be the fastest player on defense and overall on the team, approaching 23 miles per hour. I think it was 22 point something miles per hour, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually one of the fastest uh, NFL times in this catapult system that the players were in the NFL. And Chris, ASU is really trying to flip the script on this Colorado game after losing 34-31 to a Colorado team that hadn't won in Tempe in its short time in the Pac-12 South. What do they have to do to focus on Cal this weekend? Well, they know this is probably a defensive uh, type of a slugfest like they had at Michigan State. Uh, they're focused on Cal's quarterback, who's a very dynamic athlete, gets out in space, runs not like a quarterback, more like a, a running back. Mm -hmm. He's going to maybe make himself susceptible to some hits. I'm sure the ASU defensive players want to get after that, and they want to do a good job uh, in coverage. And then on the flip side, of course, they're looking to expand what Jane Daniels has been able to do with the wide receivers, maybe get Eno Benjamin building off of uh, his uh, performance against Colorado. Uh, they haven't had enough big gains in the, in the run game. And I think that uh, their hopes is that they can maybe have uh, some more of those uh, in Berkeley and, and try to get uh, even up their Pac-12 record in 1-1. So ASU now at 3-1, taking on the Pac-12's lone undefeated team in Cal number 15 Cal this weekend. But right now for Chris Cartman, I'm Rob Warner. This has been a Sun Devil Source 2-Minute Drill.